boho vibe. Let's get some DIY happening. And you know, I follow you on Instagram and I see your DIY moments. Uh, while people are going out on a Friday night, you're at home gold leafing. <laughs> and I love you for it. Like you're doing painting projects and getting prepared for the show and doing your own stuff that you use around your own places, which I think is great. So we're gonna do some painting, but also we wanna shout out this young lady. Yes, this is, and she doesn't even know I'm doing this, but Justina Blakeney, she has a great Instagram called The Jungalo. It is so boho, and she came out with a book. Honestly, it's so beautiful. Her tips mm. are amazing. Look at the color in there. I just love her. Very, very inspirational young woman. Nice. And I should mention, with these, this is not just DIY or crafts. This is therapy for me. Yes. I often, with my good friend Louise in Los Angeles, we will order takeout on a Saturday night, a bottle of wine, and just craft all night. And we find, like, whether we're going through a breakup or work stressing us out or whatever, by the end of it, mm -hmm. you feel so much better. You've actually made something, too. Which exactly. Which is pretty cool. Like, and it makes you feel good. It adds personality to your, your decor and everything, so that's really nice. And I should thank Kelly, because she helped me out. We had a good crafting weekend. Okay, let's start off with just adding paint. Yes. So you can take things that you already have. We painted this white and just kind of that bohemian pattern on it. Pretty. And popped in a faux cactus. Oh, nice. And that instance instantly adds the vibe to your room. Yeah. Gold leafing is another big one. So these were actually jars that were made for Easter, so they were on sale. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> just put a little bit of the sticky stuff down, roll the gold leaf around, and you could pop in a tea light into there. Lovely. I updated a little box by painting wood stickers up in the front there. Oh, so cute. you can see how it's taking a lot of what you have. Right. Candles are another big one, and we had so much fun making these because you can now get candle sets that you make in the microwave. So you get all of this, you throw it in, yeah, so and it, it hardens there. It comes like this, and That's you just so put cool. all your flakes in the microwave, microwave for a minute, pour them in, you can add scents, and then it's fun to decorate. Oh, nice. I like my crafts to be assemblage and not too stressful, because I'm usually having wine while I'm doing yeah. it, so. <laughs> you don't want anything to be too specific yeah, in detail. Exactly. Or flammable or no, anything. <laughs> make it really easy. Now, this is gorgeous. I love these knobs. I actually found them on sale um, at Anthropology, uh -huh. and I put them on my, my drawers in Los Angeles, and I bought extra, because you can just pop them onto these boxes that oh, we painted. Oh, that's lovely. So you could even take off things that you have, and that's a little great box for jewelry. Yes. In the front, we did these little ceramic coaster tiles, which I loved doing. Okay, so you, did you hand paint these? I hand painted these, but I also made one, uh -huh. just a little to the left of you, using tape. Okay, so this one is the one made with tape. And you know all of the different amazing varieties of tape now that you can use and make your own designs. My daughter loves this stuff. They are so fun. And so mm -hmm. I've got, brought some green for you, and I also have some sequins for you. Oh! And just these blank ceramic tiles, so you can decorate. Okay, I'm gonna start decorating mine. All I right. love these because they're very pastels. So this way you can do individualized coasters um, if you're doing some kind of a party for Easter and then you can actually let people take this stuff home if you want. I love that idea. That's a nice idea. I think that's so fun. And look for the ones that are pre-stuck so you don't have to fuss with the glue dots. And I found the um, Scotch Expressions tapes stuck really well. I tried a few other tapes. I wanna mention that because they were peeling off the ceramic, so. Okay, good to um, know. The next project, I made something for my god daughter who's actually a fan of the show. Hi, oh, Luna. Nice. This is fun. Any kind of retro film. I'm going to take a picture here. I'm going to turn this on. Love that. It's always fun to decorate with. So you can take a picture, have your film. Oh, it's going to take a second to warm up. Okay. Anyway, your film is will it come like out. A Polaroid? It's like a Polaroid, but wider. It's Fuji film. Yeah. It's the wide one, which I think is fun. And I actually found it at Best Buy online. There we go. Now we're getting our picture. Nice. And I just took a brown crate that I already had. Wired it with fairy lights. I love you fairy can see lights. That. And I popped in a picture of Luna in her little teepee. Oh, that's so nice. So I'm going to put that for her bedside table. Oh, that's great. So I thought she'd kind of like that. It's personalized. And you know what I find is happening is we are taking so many pictures and they are staying on our phones. Right. So isn't it nice to have a camera where the, uh, the picture actually comes out or at least, you know, you've gotten it developed and then you've got this beautiful keepsake right beside your bed. And I think actually that place beside your bed is kind of sacred. I agree. Yeah. It's 
it's kind of nice to have a picture of someone you really love there. And so she's going to love that. I mean, she loves herself. Yay, I, I, hope, great. I hope that she loves it. And you know what? It's actually funny. I took Luna and my godson Emma out, and we did a, a whole shoot in Western costume with this. <laughs> and they were just amazed by Why these. Do you come up with these ideas? <laughs> I know. They think I'm crazy, but then I'm like, oh, you know, we stop at the park, and I take out these Western costumes, and they're just looking at me like I'm nuts. And then five minutes in, they're leaping through the air with their hats on. Yeah. So it's like, fun. We love Auntie Jeanette. <laughs> She's a good time, right? And I really encourage you, because a lot of these things I pulled from cupboards, like old projects and stuff, yeah. to just take out what you have. You don't have to go out and buy a ton of new things. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, crafting with the succulents. I love yeah. the faux ones. Me too. I'll tell they you, can't honestly, kill them. I had real succulents for a bit, and I killed yeah. them. They, I came home one time, and they were covered in, like, fur. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, how do you do that? You can actually kill them. I've done it, too. It's incredible. <laughs> it takes major, major talent. Look but you can get coaster. it done. Yeah, I'm getting it done. So think about DIY in a new way. Use materials around the house and just maybe try and embellish them and augment them and exactly. give them that little bit of extra zing. Thanks, Jay. Thank you.